Hello and welcome to your brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about 10 unbelievably expensive cars used in films and movies. Let us know down below which of these cars is your favorite and why. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on so you don't miss any of our future videos. Now let's start with the 1968 Lamborghini. While the Mini Cooper chase scene is one of the defining moments of the Italian job, the red Lamborghini in the opening scene was no less memorable. This 1968 Lamborghini P400 was purchased for $500,000 in 2018. A fun fact is that Lamborghini provided the filmmakers a previously crashed Mora so they wouldn't crash one of the cars in the production. Next one we have is the Aston Martin DB5. What is a James Bond movie without an Aston Martin in it? But out of all of the Aston Martins we saw in the Bond franchise, the Aston Martin DB5 has got to be one of the most iconic. Appearing in Goldfinger and Thunderball, this 1964 beauty is classy, cool and suave as Bond himself. This legendary car was bought for $4.6 million and now is owned by a private collector. Next one we have is the Lotus Esprit S1. Not all vehicles James Bond drove were Aston Martins. In The Spy Who Loved Me, it was a Lotus Esprit S1 that stole the show when Roger Moore's Bond drove into the ocean with it. Nicknamed the Wet Nelly, the car submarine hybrid was sold in an auction in 2013 for a price tag of $550,000. The billionaire Elon Musk is now its proud owner, and he has previously revealed that he plans into converting it into a functional car submarine like it was in the movies. Next one we have is the 1961 Ferrari 250 GT. Central to this 1986 comedy film, Ferris Bueller's Days Off, is a Ferrari 250 GT California Spider, which captures the free-spirited, rebellious character that is Ferris Bueller. Borrowed from his friend Cameron's dad, the car meets a disastrous fate at the bottom of a ravine in the movie. Following the film, a replica of the original model sold for $10.9 million in 2008. Next one we have is the 1967 Mustang Shelby GT500. In the movie Gone in 60 Seconds, two different Mustangs were used and destroyed, both in the original and the reboot of Gone in 60 Seconds. But the coolest car was the 1967 Shelby Mustang, GT500, which was used for the 2000 adaptation starring Nicolas Cage and Angelina Jolie. Dubbed Eleanor in the movie, the car fetched 1.3 million in an auction, setting a record at the time as one of the most expensive Mustangs in the world. Next one is the W Motors Lycan Hypersport. This car that appeared in Furious 7 has a value of $3.4 million, and it's the most valuable car that appeared so far in the Fast and Furious franchise. The car had some legendary scenes when Brian and Dominic did a car stunt of leaping from one skyscraper to another, making it one of the most impressive scenes in the series. Next car we have is the 1968 Ford GT40 Golf. This amazing car was used in the movie Le Mans. Not only does it boast a pedigree of wins at Spa and Monza in the 60s, it also won the legendary 24 Hours of Le Mans, which later on led to the making of the film starring Steve McQueen. After some reconstructions, the car was auctioned for a record-breaking 11 million at the 2012 Sotheby's RM auctions. Next car we have on our list is the DeLorean DMC-12. The car that sent Marty McFly on a time-traveling adventure, the DeLorean DMC-12 became an instant hit. Only seven of these models were ever built, one of which was sold in an auction in 2011 for $541,000. The proceeds went to the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research, a nonprofit organization that was founded by Michael J. Fox, who is suffering from this illness. Next car we have is the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang car. The Chitty Chitty car may just been a prop for the film titled Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, but it could be driven around. The story revolves around Potts, his family, and his flying car called Chitty Chitty. 
The car was initially planned to be put on auction, but after a couple of failed attempts, arrangements were made and Chitty Chitty was sold for $805,000. Next one we have is the 1965 Shelby Cobra Daytona, another Steve McQueen car. This awesome looking car appeared in the 1965 film Red Line 7000. But other than being a McQueen's car, this classic racer has another claim to fame being the only American car to beat a Ferrari in a race. Like all of the other cars from McQueen's collection, this one was also placed in auction. But what surprised everyone was its final price, which was $7.25 million. Now that's all we have for you guys in this video. If you like cars and want to find out 10 most expensive cars in the Fast and Furious franchise, be sure to check out our other video as well. We wish you a wonderful day and until next time, bye bye.